New season, new optimism at Blackwell Meadows as Alan Armstrong's Darlington get their National League North campaign underway today at home to Curzon Ashton. Alan has strengthened his squad over the summer and of the new players, five are involved today with Tom Platt, Toby Lees, Jordan Musto and Cameron Salkeld starting and Mitchell Curry on the bench. Darlington will be looking to avenge a home reverse to Curzon Ashton last season and get their season off to a flying start today. It's going to be Kurz and Ashton to kick off, and they do indeed get us underway. Kurz and Ashton are going to be kicking towards that tin shed in the first half, play the ball forward down the left-hand side. Chance for them to make some progress down that left. Cross comes in, header is flicked on, comes to the back post where it's put into the box, and there's a goal-bound shot there in the opening uh, 20 seconds or so, which Tommy Taylor falls on fairly comfortably going to be taken left footed in swinging it's deep it's going to be right under the crossbar and uh, oh, I'm not sure how that didn't go in in the end I'm not sure what happened players ran across the front of the commentary position but it didn't seem to be dealt with very uh, confidently it's going to be a corner anyway corner comes in it's uh, half cleared it's uh, about goal bound and Kurz and Ashton have got the opener here well it's not the first chance they've had Darlton with plenty of possession but Kurz and Ashton have uh, made the breakthrough Adam Barton it is, it almost came a moment earlier. Yeah, the warning signs were there, you could say. Um, like I say, we didn't, we didn't manage to clear that first free kick in well enough. The corner came in and again, we couldn't quite get it cleared first time. And it dropped to him around, around about the penalty spot. And he had quite a bit of work to do, seemed to go through quite a few players, but managed to, uh, managed to guide it home. Rivers bundled into his man, but no sign of a free kick. Ball is down the left-hand side. Cross comes in. It's behind everyone. Salkel's going to get there first. Drops it down to Little. Little to Musto. Musto just uh, gets his foot behind that and clears it. Hazel's going to try and get out there ahead of his man and does so. Good play by Jacob Hazel. He's all on his own. Nobody anywhere near him. Hazel almost got past the last man. Salkel was bursting a lung to get around him in the end. But uh, good play that by Hazel. He did really well there, considering it was uh, he had three Curzon defenders around him and he was totally on his own. Now Darlington picked the ball up with Little in plenty of space. Curzon do have a few men ahead of the ball for a rare occasion here. Moke drops it to Hazel, Moke gets it back. Moke 30 yards from goal, just coming across to the left-hand side now. Then he turns back again and finds Little, Little back to Platt. Platt's having the shot, good save. That's the closest start they've come. I think it might be the first attempt on goal, actually, 25 minutes in, and it was a smart save from Cameron Mason. It is, so that was our first attempt, and uh, a lovely little shot from Platt there, and as I said, it, it was one of those where it was looking like it was going to creep into, go right into the corner, but... Plenty of men in the six-yard box. Rivers dinks one in there. It's a hit, headed home! <laughs> headed home from the set-piece. I think it might Lees be Toby Lees, Toby Lees yeah, in the back definitely. post from a set piece Jarrett Rivers set it up wind got behind it a little bit Lees had peeled off at the back post and headed it into the empty net from close range Darlington back on terms lovely little corner routine just the old uh, Rivers just put it held it up in the air went right to the back post and Lees was there just to to nod it in fairly straightforward goal but certainly uh, certainly very welcomed Yeah, you're right, entirely welcome, entirely welcome, that one. So that evens things up. Two goals from corners, thereabouts. I know theirs was on a second phase of play, but uh, two set-piece goals. Darlington back on terms. Throw in for Curzon, uh, right-hand side, play down the line, but Musto's wide awake and snaps into a challenge, concedes another throw. Ball played down the line, Musto again slides in. I tell you, I have Getting, getting good at spotting a play. I, I like Jordan Musto, I really do. Platt plays it forward. Headed again, again Musto wins that one and then Platt turns it away. Hazel takes it on his chest, drops it off to Little. Little spreads the ball forward, but it's going to be picked up by the Curzon goalkeeper. It hasn't made a great clearance there, but just about got away with it. But Moke picks on the second ball, comes inside. Darlington in possession with Little, 30 yards from goal. Little inside, Salkel with a chance. Oh, he's put it over the top. Right at the end of the uh, first half here, that's a really presentable chance on the counter for Darlington. It was a great chance, great chance for him, and I think he just 
had to overstretch a little bit and as he stretched for it, just got underneath it and just... Lawler across to Musto. Musto to Platt, Platt just drops it off. Platt's a thoroughbred, isn't he? Yeah, he, could just, he just sort of oozes that that uh, talent and just that composure on the ball. Rivers past a man, drops a shoulder, finds Griffiths. Griffiths with a time to touch, gets the cross in, all the way across, all the way across oh. the face to goal. Couple of Darlington players had a little touch on it. Darlington appealing for a corner, didn't need much of a touch. Darlington couldn't quite find it. That looked at first at first glance like an unbelievable chance for Little there uh, just to just to tap it home. I think Salkel might have got across the front and tried to almost flick it in with his ins, you know, like the little reverse, like the back heel type of thing. Anything from Ben Little there, it would have been impossible not to score because he was so close, wasn't he? But this is much better from Darling. Enjoying this spell in the second half. Little wins the header. Hazel is moved out of the way of the ball there. Ball comes to Musto, though. Musto to Little. Little just under pressure has to pop one forward and hope for the best. Hazel competes but can't win it. Platts underneath that, just pulls it out of the sky as if he's just... Lovely player. Oh, I don't know what he looks like he's <laughs> controlling there. It's almost like the ball's a beanbag or something like something that, isn't like it? like a prime Iniesta there, something like that. Platt just uh, plays the ball to Musto. Tinshed respond to this good attack and play. Musto plays it into the box, comes back to Platt on the edge. He finds Griffiths. Griffiths has to wait for the ball to come to him, but he has the shot. He was going to he was was gonna find in. the corner, that one. That's a very smart save there by Cam Mason, down behind for a corner. He's given offside, actually, but I think. Who's he giving offside against there? That's ridiculous. Who could he give offside against there as Griffiths had a shot? I do not understand Pass. that one, unless there was a player right in front of the uh, goalkeeper blocking his view, but I didn't think there was. Well, there isn't. Northern California and on the Costa Blanca. To be honest, I'm still trying to work out whether here or Christchurch is warmer because <laughs> it certainly know. doesn't feel much more than six degrees here. Ball played four, late challenge there. I think that was, uh, was that Platt? He's just got to be easy a little bit because he's on the yellow card already. Going to be a free kick for Curzon Ashton. It's a few yards in from the right-hand side. Curzon Ashton attacking the open end, sparsely populated on a damp day like this today at Blackwell Meadows. Going to be a left-footed delivery as it comes into the box. Ball is whipped in. It's around the back post and it's a goal there for Curzon Ashton. I think it was Jake Lawler who was beaten in the air. It was in that corridor of uncertainty between goalkeeper and centre-back and Lawler was just beaten to it. Darlington concede the second goal from a set-piece today. Two balls into the box that haven't been very well dealt with. Good delivery from the set-piece. I was going to say, all you can say, it was good delivery and... Uh yeah, one on one with Lawler at the back post there, He's just unbeaten. Just beating all ends up, isn't he? Simple yeah. as that, really. So they're exposed, they're, they're separated from everybody else. Darlington have been excellent in this second half, in the first 20 minutes of it, for the 2 1 down. I was going to say, what were we just saying there, Stu? Well, just Curzon just needed to st stop the game, recompose themselves. Lawler to Moke. Moke to Felix. Felix to Musto, Musto with the early cross, looking for Hazel, Hazel gets there, it's the crossbar, comes back, hooked away, clear, Rivers couldn't get there on the second one, after Hazel at the crossbar, the ball's still there with Musto, Musto to Salkeld, Salkeld with a step over, goes past his man, pulls it across, lovely ball to Rivers, Rivers takes a touch, brings it on to his left, oh it's a weak shot, and then Hazel commits the foul, Starlet fans looking for the uh, penalty there, then Musto's getting involved with a bit of argy-bargy afterwards. All happening here. Players from both sides getting involved. Hazel was pulled up for the free kick in the box. The Tin Shed was trying to say there was a penalty in there. Referee's been in control of the match pretty much so far, I think. No, I mean, Hazel has fouled the defender. Lawler gets there, just had the chance to play the ball back to Taylor. Just play the ball back to the goalkeeper. Oh, dear. Lawler, just, just first ball there, could have just gone straight back to Taylor, couldn't he? And he's conceded possession yeah, instead. Yeah, he, he had an easy pass back on and for some reason decided to take another touch and got himself in a spot of bother. Ball played down the channel for Curzon Ashton, moving it towards the corner flag. Oh, ball's inside the box, chance for Hayhurst, good, good save by Taylor. Good save. 
Hayhurst maybe should have done a little bit better, but Hayhurst dispossessed him, and another save by Taylor, and then Hayhurst again. Lees gave the ball away on the edge of the box. Darlet in one, Curzon Ashton three. It's a debacle at the end. <laughs> That's probably the politest word I could use for that, Stu. Absolute I mean, yeah, debacle, absolutely. really. How on earth, how on earth that has happened is unbelievable. Just watching it back, Lees. I mean, Darlington, a, a man down. Lees, to be fair, he's probably trying to wait for somebody to become open to give the ball. But Taylor had made the good save. Everybody gets up out of the seats. Everybody walks to the exit. Darlington one, Curzon Ashton three. I think now we see Blackwell medals empty in now. Yeah, everyone's off. Everyone's seen enough. Such a shame because to 65 minutes I was broadly encouraged. I think, but oh, uh, we had a we had a 15 minute spell there where we were the better team by far and away. But but again, I'll just go back to that. Uh, don't mean to sound cynical, but that bit of game management and Curzon Ashton taking the time as you'd expect on the uh, on the free kick. Hayhurst takes the ball back, gives it back to Allen. Plays it down the line. Hayhurst going to keep that ball in. Gets to the byline, pulls it across. Chance for the fourth. Blocked on the line, comes back out. Flag stays down. Great chance. Must be the fourth. He's toying with us here in the six-yard box. Why didn't he just have the shot? That was a that was an unbelievably That's good unbelievable. chance for him not to have a shot, isn't it? I mean, the guy was out just he was absolutely taking the mick. Didn't score though. Crazy situation in Darlington's six-yard box there. But anyway, Curzon just pop it around left again to Hayhurst. Hayhurst getting a few boos. Comes inside Griffiths. Griffiths goes to ground. Hayhurst still on the ball. He's enjoying his afternoon. He flashes that shot wide. Finds Curry. Curry to Musto. Musto just clips one into the box. Felix gets inside his man. Comes off hit. Uh, referee blows the full-time whistle. And uh, I'll take my time over this summary, I think, because... Darlington have started their season with a 3-1 home defeat to Curzon Ashton. For 65 minutes, they looked OK. Darlington had a good spell at the start of the second half and were in control. But then it all collapsed. And Curzon Ashton, in the end, comfortable winners. And uh, Darlington, perhaps, in the end, a little fortunate to uh, end up with it being 1-3. So, yeah, optimism was the watchword at the start of the game. But that was uh, 